In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a really effective way to beat man and zone out of the gun bunch formation. We're going to be in the Detroit Lions playbook today. And again, like I said, we're going to be talking about beating uh, just kind of some man coverage and some zone coverage. Now, if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that, and it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. I think as of today, we have about 18 offensive and defensive ebooks. Four versions of the Gun Bunch offense available, and we're going to continue to add more as the season goes on. So make sure that you're in the Patreon. I think you get a ton of value out of that. And again, it's only 10 bucks to sign up for that. All right, guys, so what we're going to be taking a look at today is one of my favorite little zone beaters out of um, out of the Detroit playbook, but this is also in the Washington playbook. Um, it's in a lot of different bunches. It's called Bench Pivot. Really simple play, really effective. This is a great short side passing concept. So we want to have our bunch to the short side of the field. And all we're going to do is we're just going to streak our slot receiver. Now, the beauty of this is that we have a really nice little quick throw to circle uh, this outside bunch receiver. If they are not in hard flats, throw the ball every single time. They have to play hard flats to stop this. That is why um, you know this is one of the best plays because they have to be in hard flats to be able to get leverage to be able to defend this. Like I'm going to baseline press. You'll notice I'm going to have a little bit more outside leverage out of this cover four. But because I'm not in a hard flat and if I have set feet lead, it's going to be really hard for the defender to be able to pick the ball. So we want to make sure that we're always attacking the flats um, with this play. So what that's going to force the opponent to do is they're going to have to play hard flats. Now, see right here, I can actually highball this and can occasionally catch this on the outside, so just keep that in mind. But anyways, bottom line is we want to force them and funnel them, especially in their zone looks, to be forced to play man or uh, hard flats. At that point, this tight end route becomes one of the best routes in the game because it will be double label, double flat, and it will also beat... Um, this little standard cover four or cover three hard flat look that I think we actually see a lot more than you think. So you see here again, there's the hard flats and you see how open this is against that. So what they have to do is they have to double flat. What does a double flat mean? It basically means that they're going to have to play a coverage that essentially looks like this. And then they're going to have to use her in the middle of the field. So you have two flat zones, a hard flat to stop the out route, and a cloud flat to stop this route to the tight end. This out route is going to pull the flat zones outside, and you can have this little high ball right in this little gap against any double flat defense in the game. Any double Mabel defense, you have that ability to hit that read. This is one of the reasons that bunch is so effective against man or uh, zone coverage. It's really good against zone as or uh, man as well, but it's incredible against zone because you have these little windows that you can get in bunch that you can't get in a lot of other formations. So as you see right there, we're able to beat the double flat defense. Um, another thing I want to show with this double flat uh, style is if, for whatever reason, you you know you don't get the read off, and they're playing a traditional cloud flat under cover two, um, you will see here that he does get played to the sideline. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now, let's say that their user says, "Well, I'm going to take." care of this tight end quick into the into the play so i'm going to use her you know this tight end into the scene what that does is it leaves a window now on the left side for us to hit this dig coming back across the middle as you can see so this is a really good play against zone this is also a really good play specifically against shaded underneath man to man shaded underneath man to man is very popular right now a lot of people are, are running it because it stops wheels and stuff. So what you'll see with this tight end route is if we basically freeform and highball it up, you're gonna get this little animation just like that against man coverage. So you're able to attack man coverage. And if you have like short in elite on that player, for example, you're gonna have even more success. Now I do wanna show one other thing with this. That is the, um, you know, like more traditional Mike Blood Zero shade underneath man. You'll see with this shade underneath, um, you see how that little false step he takes, and we can throw that over the top. So this gives us a really nice route that can attack the shaded, uh, shaded down man-to-man -man looks. 
Now, if they don't shade underneath, um, this route to Jones can be pretty decent. You'll see right here, um, you're just going to get that outside where only a receiver can catch it. If you have short and elite on that player, he will light up and will we'll get pretty decent separation against, against um, man coverage. Now, against, you know, kind of traditional man coverage, another thing that you have going for you is if they go to the right side, your in route is very good. So don't sleep on your in route against man coverage in this play. Um, it can be one of the best reads because they're going to have to do so much over here to stop the quick out, to stop the corner route, to the tight end, especially if you have short and elite on him, that now this route to the this route to your solo receiver becomes a great little check down. Bench pivot is a must have, I think, in bunch right now because of the fact of how good shaded underneath man coverage is. If you want to learn the rest of the gun bunch offense and what makes it so effective year in and year out, make sure you get in our Patreon for just $10. You're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down there. Hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.